Hello guys, I'm here back and today a little bit something older. This time Renault Megane first series 1.4 gasoline engine. This is video for today how to change and replace the oil for your Renault Megane. And this is BA series, it's a hatchback. But more or less uh, what I've seen that uh, <laughs> the kind of similar interesting fact that uh, for Megane 2 and for Megane 1 oil filter is rather the same. So but outside it's quite a bit windy. You probably not see it, but uh, tree shaking a lot. So I hope you hear something good. And then let's dig in and see what you need to do it and what you don't need. To do this work, you actually don't need too many tools. So first, just open engine oil cap. You need some oil filter as well. I bought this one. Well, more or less. Just make sure that this comes with right diameter inside but more or less for the second and the third generation the same filter goes there in you can remove it by hand if you if it's not really stuck there and uh, but as you see mine is a bit thinner than this one so the difference there but you can use as well this tool to remove your engine oil filter then you will need some engine oil i will use 5V40 full synthetic, but you can use older ones as a same synthetic. You can use 10V40, 10V30, in 15V40. <laughs> I don't know, it actually works with uh, different sort of oils. You will need around 5 liters for this engine, for small engines. Kind of looks like it's small engine, 1.4, but it's uh, 16V, so that's why it's actually quite capacity, about a little bit over 4 liters. That's so why you will need some place where to put your old engine oil. I will use this can. And if it will not be enough with this, I will use this bottle. It's about 5 liters together. And to get access to the engine oil cap, you will need 17 millimeter socket. Oh, that's not nice stuff here. Welcome guys back with Renault Megane 1. This time I have something better because last time I actually wanted to remove this bolt and I kind of figured out that it has something welded on top of it. The nut 17 mils, so probably you can just get through with 17 mils. But under there was the original bolt or something close to it. And for this, you actually need this tool. It's a squarish one, it's a 8. 8 multiplies 8, like each side 8, mil, eight millimeters, and then it kind of fits there in nicely. And then all you need to just do put some real force here. Oh, get. oh it was really slowly coming out, and you can see it kind of moves, so that's all right. But mine is rather damaged, that's why I actually went to shop. I bought this one, this new new screw there and new washer and then I will replace this one so I have no, no problems next time when I open this one but keep opening the bolt till you can actually move it with your hand and then open all the corks here and there Try not to lose the nut. Yeah. On the other hand, if you're replacing the nut, you can swap. Whereas the oil looks not that bad at all. I was expecting it to be a lot worse condition. But since I bought this car recently, I'd rather replace this one just in case. Four liters was enough, but just replace this one. Now 
the shorter one. This is kind of shorter one, the new one with the balls, but we'll see if they'll fit there all right and it'll be good enough. Let's hope so. And this is all right. Do not over tighten. I only just bit. that will be all right. And just check it out if there's no leakage around. That's a boy. It's clean around here, so you can see if there's any leakage. The inner part was kind of rusted out, and as well, not totally squarish one. So next you can move on to the filter and the filter is located right here. There's a chance that you can open this with your hands, but before you do it, I suggest you take some old rag or whatever else and put it under there, tuck it down because oil will leak definitely and you're probably not that quick and you don't want to mess around there too much. Just nice. snug it around around here, and the oil just sits in there. And then just anti-clockwise open this one. I think you can do it with your hands here because it's really easy to access there. But I got two for this. Clip it over here like that. Then like the wrench, attach it and then just undo it. Let's do that. This was quite tough there. It's good that I had this too. Otherwise, impossible to, would be to take away this one. I'm not sure if you can see it or something, probably not too much. I'm apologizing for that. So, one more thing when you unbolting this one, watch out from generator and do not short anything. It's like that loss and just disconnect all your ports. Put this aside and then swiftly try to remove it and put it like that because it will spill oil otherwise everywhere. You want to avoid that as much as you can. Now you can see that oil is spilling. It's good because I have drunk this little down there. be at least half liter or something like that in this little filter so quite a bit of oil as you see and just spill there and then just move it and put it for this position so it doesn't spill there more clean around the oil so it doesn't move everywhere probably you already had some spillage under there so at this possibility as you as in my case probably it will be like that but if you use like rag it will be minimal and that's a good part so when that's done go for your new filter in my case you like compare these ones mine is like about one third smaller but it doesn't matter it kind of fits there and then it will be all right the, the most important part outer the diameter in the inner and if those are the same then it's alright just take some old oil lubricate the rubber 
can do it sparely if you want, but more or less it's like sometimes prevents the cooking there in and then just screw it over there and you can do it hand tight you don't need to use a removal tool for this one just make sure your hands are without grease so it has a better grip or use some glow or whatever else Okay, when you have hand tightened this one, next thing, go up to the oil filling up place and you have to fill the oil there. And here is a dipstick, so if you don't know, here you have to check the level. Let's start, let's start with filling this up, I think the 4 liters will be for beginning good start. It has a good bottle top, so you do like this and that kind of pops out and it's easier to fill it in. <laughs> That's good. There's some sort of more plastic. Whoa, I got oil in my eyes. Anyway. Oh, it's pretty windy so it's not going to be really fun part to pour it in. But, well, let's hope it will be alright. I'm not sure about this. suggest you to just put all four liters there in because definitely you will need more than four liters I think so but you can do it by just checking the dipstick there and I'm kind of doing it slowly because of the wind I don't want too much spill oil around Put this back on. Put this aside. After four liters, well, you can go for your dipstick there. Let's clean this one. So it should be between those two lines, and let's see where it is right now. As you probably can see, it's kind of oily over the half, so this is kind of good, but a little bit dry and see later on something changes after 4 liters, but I think you need to put a little bit more after then. But right now I will not put anything else in. So what I will do, I will just clean around here, put this back on, a little bit dry, and then check at the level. Okay, let's go down there and see if there's no leakage around. And if you don't see any drips here, it's leakage is from the filter replacing. Then all you need to do just a little bit dry, check again, make sure that the uh, door level is okay. But maybe you'll have to put a little bit more in, like half liter or something like that. But that's about it, how you replace the 
oil on your older Nolte Megane first model. Thanks for watching and goodbye.